What's coming up at GAB Tech? Hey, friends and family, welcome to our weekly announcements. We are so happy, so glad to see Sister Amy Henderson back here in service. Family, just go up to her today, show her some love, and let her know that you're glad to see her here back in service. We all know that prayer changes things. So let's continue to pray for our pastor um, in the passing of his daughter and also for Dr. Ross McKean and Sister Cynthia in the passing of their sister. We know that a family that prays together stays together. Do you want financial freedom in 2015? Well, come and join us on Tuesday nights at 6 p.m. and learn how to manage your finances. Hope to see you there. This is for all of the wonderful ladies here at GAB Fact. Sister Deborah Ann would like to meet with you following Bible class on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. for about 10 minutes. So please come on out and just hear what she has to say. Hope to see you there. Family, the phone number for the 5 a.m. prayer line has changed. The new number is 1-218-548-3146. Hope you join us on the 5 a.m. prayer line. Have you visited the bookstore lately? Well, if you haven't, you should check it out. We have great, great music, especially for Me Too Music's new artist, Justin Shaw. We also have new projects from uh, Christina Bell and Phase Two. So if you haven't been there in a while, just go check out some of that new merchandise. Now this is just a reminder that Consecration will be here at GAB Fact April 19th, that's Sunday, April 19th through April the 29th. So make sure that you're setting aside some time to come out and join us at Consecration. Hope to see you there. And that's what's coming up at GAB Fact. Baptism is an important part of the believer's walk. This month at GAB Fact, we will have our baptism ceremony. Please see Evangelist Peggy Brown or Reverend Diane Anthony to get set up. What's up, Gateway family? Hey, we got something going on in the next couple of weeks, couple of months. Uh, the, the Consecration Committee, we come together and we're coming up with some different ideas uh, to promote some different things in the church. Our very first one will be this Sunday. We're taking pictures for Easter. It's, um, it's considered Resurrection Sunday. So put on your finest. You may not have a suit. You might just want to have your nice shirt and your jeans. Bring your family and friends. Um, there will be uh, a, a price that you can afford for your picture. So hey, tell everybody you know, your friends and family, come out, take a picture. You don't even have to belong to this church. You can leave your other church service, come over, take some pictures. Uh, we'll be here right at um, Gateway taking pictures. We'd we'll love to see you there. Well, this is Pastor Burrell, and I'm here with Minister Joe, and we are uh, letting everyone know that on this coming Tuesday, we will begin our youth um, Bible study cell group. Uh, it'll be for our youth as well as our teens, and so we ask that you bring out your children uh, because we want them all to be a part. And so we're looking forward to having you all there. We couldn't round up the teens today, but we got some of our youth with us, and so we look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. God bless. Good morning, BFAC family. This is Brother Pettiford again. I'm here to remind you that we have started the small study group uh, here at BFAC. And if you haven't had a chance to attend one, there are four groups. It gives you an opportunity to pick a group and uh, attend one. Uh, the first group is being led by Sister Janet Moulton and her assistant is Sister Sharon Lockett. Second group is being led by Sister Deborah Collins, her assistant is Sister Rosalind King. The third group is for our men and young men and is being led by Brother Sean Pettiford and Brother Wilbon Anthony. And uh, the last group is for anyone that is working or knows someone that works at Touche Hospital. Uh, they meet during the lunch hour and that's being led by Sister Carolyn Riddle. So if you want to join a group, which we hope that you do, or if you still want to lead a group, it's still a possibility for you to be a group leader. Contact one of these four people. You've been missing some great lessons. Our next week lesson is on what drives you. Join us for one of the small study groups. Uh, see one of the group leaders if you're interested in being a part. God bless you. All right, family, we're back again. Now, on the 12th, we're having a victory dinner. The dinner is only $6. Hey, invite your friends and family. We want to fill up that side of the service, that side of the church. Um, we want to just fill it up, come out and support. This is in um, collaboration 
with consecration, please come out. Hey, dinners are only $6. Come out, bring your family, your friends. We're going to have a great time together. We're going to fellowship and we're going to enjoy one another. Again, dinners will only be $6. See you there and let's have fellowship and let's eat some good food. Hey everybody, it's Sean and we are here on Saturday afternoon cleaning the church. Um, I have been a part of the cleaning crew for about four months. We started off helping out to... Helping, so we started off at, help, help. at, you know, at the old church, helping, right, right. helping the, the uh, Sister Pritchard, who was then our, our cleaning person. Right. So I guess about 13 years. And, and we feel good about what we do. It takes pride, it, it, you know, it gives us pride. We take pride in what we do. What I've learned is that what commitment really means when you want to, when you don't want to, and that it is, it is a part of the ministry and anything that we do concerning the ministry, it should be a commitment. I've definitely uh, learned about being humble and because uh, this is a tough job but it has just been an awesome experience and uh, every Saturday we have a great time. We have food, we uh, fellowship together and it's just it's really been a, a great learning experience. I think what I've learned is um, um, humility. I mean you know it, this is not the kind of auxiliary that everybody comes to a church say I want to be part of. So. Um, it, I've learned a lot from them. That they've taught me a lot, and you know I've learned how to even clean my own house better. So I know my wife can appreciate that. So. We also want to welcome back Sister Dolores Pritchard. Pritchard. <laughs> we're, we're letting her know it's her time. She's come on back to the crew. Uh, we also want to give big props to also Brother Sean, who's part of the crew as well. Brother Sean Pettiford. Pettiford, yeah. So, but um, God sent. That's right. It was a God sent. That's he right. Came right in, and and did everything that we needed uh, at that time because Brother Lewis had got down yeah. and he just came right on in and filled that spot. That's right. And, and we appreciate it. I wanted to definitely highlight uh, Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis is definitely a hardworking individual and I've learned a lot, a lot from him as far as just continuing to press on and continuing to work for God and working for the church. So we appreciate your hard work, Mr. Lewis. I, and I appreciate who I work with too, um, Sister Zelda, Sister Peggy, Brother Sean, um, and Brother Brown. Well, Sister Peggy, Sister Zelda says sometimes I appreciate <laughs> working, working with the crew.